The U is so back. Yeah. It's not Ed Reed, Ray Lewis, or Michael Irvin, but Cam Ward, the Heisman frontrunner, leading the undefeated number six Canes into battle against their biggest rivals. So why are they saying that it's going to be a ghost town outside of Hard Rock Stadium tonight? It's because Miami fans are filled with excuses about why they shouldn't be at the biggest game of the year. We're so disgusted that we've made it our mission to prove that a Hurricanes game can be a top experience in college football. This is Snapback Saturdays, our journey to find the greatest experience in college football. Oh, bird Let's go. That's good luck. Great luck. Huge, huge luck. All right, so our power rankings, we've been to, this is going to be number five. Fountain top. Over chimes. This is number one. <laughs> Fountain <laughs> takes number one. Yeah, because I don't like, I don't want to build it. kind of a fraud. What are you talking about? This is palm trees, like this is a, like a postcard picture. No, you don't get the palm trees, it's just fountain. Canes win the national championship, like everyone jumps in, right? Oh. Oh no, bad vibes, Timbo. Tigers are gonna own that ass in the ACC championship, that's why. Oh, I thought you, I was like, do you know who's playing today? So I guess my theory that if they won the national championship, they were gonna jump in the water, probably not gonna come true if there's crocodiles. Everyone on campus, by the way, is rocking their Canes gear. So there's a little bit more Miami energy than leads on. This is going to be very different than next week's video when we're at Penn and it's an Ivy League school where I don't even know if they care about football. I don't know if this place does either. That's what we're going to figure out today. Don't leave caviar behind. Holy f yeah, no, this is a Nightmare. What's on everybody's mind right now is the incoming Kane stub. It, it, You're not rocking any merch. I wasn't sure if you were a fan. So let me tell you, I left my merch at home. I got a crazy outfit planned for the game. I did not want to get it sweaty beforehand. Hey. We're here trying to figure out if everyone's going to the game because we heard the students, maybe they don't all go to the game. Is that not true? That is an unfortunate truth. Bro. There's a lot of people here who are not very conscious of what's going on right now. The Canes are 7-0 and for the first time since the 90s. Hopefully what's going on with Cam Ward and the team like that, I hope that it increases attendance. I think we'll see a lot of people there today. I mean... Packed house? Yeah, gonna be yeah. packed house. So does everyone go to the games or have you seen people not going to games? Uh, no, not everyone goes. Bro. But like people have started to go more like the Virginia Tech game. There's a lot of people and I expect a lot of people will be here. So it's safe to say you're Fairweather fans, but Fairweather fans that are going to games. I mean, not us specifically, but like a lot of other students. Yeah. Is it like a nightmare to get to the stadium? Like if we had a stadium on campus, that would be, you I, think, think, be I, think, I think more people would go. Yeah. yeah. First Adidas store on the Snapback Saturday store. Prediction? Uh, between 75 and 100. I like the or I like the color scheme. The color's great. But uh, Clemson and Miami kind of on a crash course here to play in the ACC championship. So it's kind of hard to be rocking this gear. But again, it's for the trip. It is what it is. The colors are pretty. They really are. You're pretty. That's so kind of you. Dude, it's so bad. In like pages like, oh, like Tommy Bahama, like Peter Millar. It's like, you don't get bailed out by that You get the team, whatever the team brand is, team issued. Like, this is the best option for a polo. Dude, this thing's gonna be hanging at TJ Maxx in three weeks. I don't even know if I can buy anything here. Yeah, we've made it just off campus. Right next door is the frat houses. And if you listen very closely, you can hear them bumping. Four hours till kick and uh, not a soul. We're kind of like busting chops and like, I, I do like being here. W what's gonna happen is someone's gonna be like, you were in the wrong place. Like, mm. This place is where it pops up. Oh, you guys came fall break. Yeah, it's just. Bro, you're playing your rival. No, this You're is... number six in the country. Three hours till kick. We just ate at the Titanic. Give a little pan shot. They're having a watch party today. Maybe things are better at the stadium. The journey to Hard Rock starts now. I'm about to start the time. And we're gonna see if it's a valid excuse. 40 minutes projected, limited traffic too. So I do hear where they're coming from, but we're gonna decide after our ride. This sucks. Yeah. If I went to Miami, I'd literally never go to a game. I really don't blame them at all. <laughs> if I was banged up, this would be terrible. Terrible. Clock is at 52 minutes. We're probably gonna sit in a touch of traffic here, but look at the tents. Someone's tailgating. Wouldn't wish the drive on my worst enemy. <laughs> So dramatic. So bad I forgot so it was Saturday. Under an hour, 57 minutes, we have a ride. Under an hour, that's a hell of a way to frame that. I think you're being a baby. I didn't think that was that bad. The end of I will say, getting home, that's nightmarish. Yeah, dude, you know. I, it feels like way too much of a chore for what should be a fun day. But there's people out here, so I'm not buying it. 
I was the one who was holding out hope. And I said, they're at the stadium. Does this change your opinion? No, this is a small faction. That's a giant stadium! Oh, it's a you small are a hater! They're lit right now. Look, come here, come here, come here. What do you gotta say to people who say that Canes fans don't really care about Canes football? Don't care, f up as you. No one that wants to come to the game is a f dog. We got the best student section in the country. Everyone's always ready to go. It's far away, you know. I, I would love it if Miami put a stadium closer yeah. to campus. Are you a big Canes fan? Yeah. 100%. Well, I actually just converted a Canes fan. From where? From where? From Seminoles oh, to my... You need a Right now, what are we doing? What are you doing? Us. What's a better game day experience? Miami or FSU? FSU by far. You have yeah, you know, to be getting loud, but everyone has to drive 45 minutes to get here. FSU is right outside the line. You walk in, you walk out, you're old. Way better than FSU. We go way harder. We're a better team, except this year, fine. You guys have us. Tell me what it means to be like a Canes fan. It's been misery. I'm saying the past 10, 15 years, it sucked. I wanted a Chris Ball fire after the Georgia Tech game, um, but it's proven me wrong. Um, hopefully this year we win by 40 points, cover the spread to 20. But the kids aren't here. Right? They're not tailgating. It's 45 minutes, an hour away. Do you think that like it's a valid excuse? It's kind of a half ass excuse. Like when the team is playing this good, you have Cam Ward at quarterback, you should come to the game. You gotta get to the game. It. It's like a Heisman favorite. Like he should everybody the same should be sold out every week. Most of the people here are alumni, but you can tell they still hold those 90 teams as if that's going to be the case right now. So it seems like there's some experienced guys. It's almost like you jumped the gun on taking a victory lap. Not at all. This is lit. But it's not students. But it's still a good game day experience, is it not? I think you keep changing the goalposts. But I'm just saying, there's good tailgates. There's actually great tailgates. There's chill tailgates. There's lit tailgates. There's students on the way right now. I got them on the phone. I got them on the phone. All four of them? Bro is actually a certified hater. Get in here, get in here. Michael is representing Miami. We're looking to see what college is the smartest in all of the nation. Sebastian is representing Florida State. First question. Yeah. What language do they speak in Brazil? Spanish or Portuguese. Portuguese? Portuguese. There Let's we go. go. All right, drink that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now I'm asking you, who is this person? <laughs> I do not know. Take, it, take a look. Take a look. Was it Parks? Cancel. Harry Tubman? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Tell me, I count the drink. Yeah, yeah, drink up, drink up. Is it Harry and Tommy? Yeah, there you go. All right, what country's flag? Ireland. Irish. Oh, uh, it's Ivory Coast. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yes. Come on, I'm a people guy. Let's go. Well, Ivory Coast of what? Uh, I'm a business major. I don't know sh What is iron on the periodic table? Bro, you're a dickhead. Um, F-E? Yeah. R-E. That's wrong. Have a drink. All right, next question. What time does this clock read? 250. 250. 250. What is the square root of 256? I don't want to do the math. 14? 1, 8, 1, 2, 8. 28? It's 16. Oh, go on, bar now. 16 times 16. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to get roasted. What's the main ingredient of hummus? Oh, uh, what are the small nuts are? What are they? Isn't it like the balls that you squish, yeah. the beans? Yeah. Uh, the little balls. <laughs> the tiny balls, dude. Uh, garbanzo? Chickpeas. Oh, chickpeas. Yeah, chickpeas. Chickpeas. I knew chickpeas. All right. Spell embarrass. E M B R A S S E D. E M B A R. Two R's, one R. One R A S S E D. Two R's. Wow, I'm illiterate. <laughs> Who fought in the Civil War? How many countries? I, I know we're up. Facts. Two zero. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's Down for the badge. Yes. The British and the, obviously us. Yeah, that's correct. And last question, what is this Miami Stadium called? Right now, Hard Rock. Rock, Hard Rock, baby! One thing real quick, because I mentioned this at Texas, and I was saying how like Texas can do a big game and also F1. We are on the bridge for F1 right now. You can see it through the little screen there. So I guess credit to Miami, but are you done hating or what? It's fine, it's fine. This is what I want to do. And Matt's going to make this graphically amazing, but college rescue, bar rescue, but for college experiences. I don't embrace excuses. I embrace solutions. John turns money pits. Clean the 
place out. Into money maker. What do they need to do to make this a good experience? Jack, we're not gonna go build them a stadium on campus. You think that's the only solution? Yes. This should take Hard Rock Stadium. And push it somewhere else! 20 minutes till kick. What do you think of the student turnout? And it's fall break. It's actually pretty solid. Fall break, stop with the excuses. Where do you need to go? You go to school on vacation. Top 10 team in the country. Here's what I found out. Student tickets are free. Bro. So that was what they did to try and get even more people to come out. Completely free student ticket. Does that make the excuse meter even worse? I sympathize with the students. I really do. After doing the drive, I think they should make them free. I don't know what student would want to go to this game. Saturday streak finally got broken last week a game it really shouldn't know tonight Florida State Miami you gotta pick it against the spread I'll give you 21 and a half this game is giving me Texas Georgia energy Miami wildly confident FSU down on themselves but also weirdly confident I think it's a sneaky spot for the the Knowles Miami still win but close I'm in the same agreement this is a classic, don't overthink it spot, Miami by 40. Yes, yes picker. picker! Paige, does Miami cover 21 and a half? I'm gonna go with yeah. She goes, yes, big! She's a homer, she's a homer. Useless, it's like when the game day guest picker fixed their school. <laughs> shouldn't even have asked. That seems like a wild thing to do. It's like asking for Snapback Saturdays, we're off. I've been to Dolphins games. It's rowdier than a Dolphins game for sure. Like, it's not even a full house. I don't know if it's because they're pumping the music in. It's a pretty good environment. Big run play between the tackles for Fletcher all the way down. I'm like thoroughly impressed. And if I were in the student section, I would be having fun. I don't want to see empty seats at kickoff. No, I, I totally understand that. I get that. Like, I, like that, that's not good. Like that's not great. No, no, that's not good. Florida State coming after Ward in trouble. Wall up back at the 28 yard line. I am rooting for Miami, but sucker for the job. From the 21 yard line, Ward throwing again, and Brown wide open again inside the five yard line. Oh, it's over. I said we would know how this is going to go. You got to get it to Minute. Two full minutes. GG's. Trust, trust, trust. Fletcher walks in. Touchdown. Run play in second and ten. Martinez breaks a tackle inside the ten. Martinez into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Puts it through. Hard Rock Stadium food reveal. We've got the OG Smash Burger, an Arepa, and this is maybe the craziest one yeah. we've ever seen. Caviar. Caviar on chicken, is that right? On a bow bun? All right, you start there. I'm going to start here. Holy Wow. Don't leave caviar behind. Oh, that's outstanding. That is so top tier stadium food. All right, what's your prediction going into the burger? Better or worse than this? That's phenomenal. That might be the best food I've had in the stadium. That might be the best burger I've had in the stadium, beating Osha Ball Cubs game, which was top, top tier. Oh, yeah. That's all I like it. Last thing, Arepa. Mid. My thing with the Arepa is it always looks better than it actually. I know. Like, this looks so good. One, two, three for me. But I mean, stadium food that was not served on a water on, yeah. this is really good. Is this challenging Knoxville? We'll see you back at the studio to give you the full rating ranking. I'm about to give the intern 30 seconds to find the best item in the team store. Are you ready? 
Three, two, one, go. We saved $64 thanks to C-Club. If you've never heard of C-Club, C-Club is a ticket marketplace that has absolutely no fees. It's like the Costco of tickets. All you have to do is buy an annual membership and you don't pay a fee for the rest of the year. It's $99 or $79 with code SNAPBACK and you can go to concerts, sporting events, or even the Super Bowl for no fees at all. Now, let's see what the intern got me. Good. I think I just got a concussion holding this. Nah, that's obviously for me. Two MVP is still live. This is what I got you. This and is, this this is nice. nice. This is nice. Yeah. Nine of ten on the year. This is a 42 yard try. And he buries that one. Or Gallus again. Perfect on the 45 yard field goal. Okay, we are leaving with 12 minutes left in the game. Call us frauds in the comment section if you want. But as experienced people, we know this is the second worst stadium in America to get out of. Number it one? Fox, bro, without a doubt. There's no over here in the middle of nowhere. We are doing what Miami fans do. We're leaving early. We've been, we've been walking, say, I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Uh, they just told us the lot for the Ubers, lot 30, yeah. is a 35 minute walk. Yeah, no, this is a nightmare, and we left early. I think we finally made it. We might still be waiting. It was outrageous. I'm dumping sweat. Imagine it during the day when it's hot. Like, it's not no? worth this much to see. Yeah, uh, one eternity later. It's all about the you. We've made it back to the studio, and it is time to give our Snapback Saturday ranking for the Miami game. Starting with fans and atmosphere, which we gave a 5.7 out of 10. We talked to Tim on the phone. We discussed give the worst score for a stadium that was completely packed out to agree. I Almost. would say it was 90% filled. They got a good crowd, but again, limited amount of college students so it didn't give you obviously that true college football vibe that we've gotten out of tennessee or in alabama and it got loud at points but the gameplay was just all right so the fans and atmosphere was capped at the lowest full state food got an 8.7 i believe this is our highest non-premium food of all time this was the best concourse food we have ever had you heard us describe the food not with adjectives with sounds and noises that maybe you didn't even know i could make that was one of the best smash burgers i've ever had not just in a stadium the caviar on the chicken this would have been in the nines for me had it not been for the underwhelming arepa we've been to my We've been to Hard Rock before and I've rated the food way lower because we didn't try these things. So each experience is unique of itself and an 8.7 for food here. Shout out the chefs at Hard Rock for saving the Miami score. For uniqueness, we gave a 4.4 out of 10. Our lowest uniqueness score so far on the trip. Essentially nothing outside of Cam Ward getting to see him who is a top three Heisman favorite. And if they continue on this undefeated run could very well take home the award. But outside of that, maybe a little FSU rivalry no exclusive access, no nothing outside of your run-of-the-mill college football game. And our final category gets a 5.2. Now, the campus was stunning. The fountain, when you first walk up to it, was super nice. But outside of that, there's not too much going on on campus. Obviously, the stadium is just the Miami Dolphins Stadium. Hard Rock is a quality stadium, but it's one of those newer ones, so less tradition, less historical value there. And then the gameplay. The gameplay was a blowout from the start. FSU could have been in the game, but they absolutely stink. And honestly, one of the more underwhelming performances from Miami and that Cam Ward-led offense, that lands us at this lower score for this final category. And it's worth mentioning, we've heard and seen all the hoopla about these Miami bikini parties and that could have gotten the campus score up, but we didn't get invited, nor did we see any because potentially it was fall break, so no bump. There. Oh, and honestly, I don't even think we gave enough downgrade to the fact that we had to walk 45 minutes to get an Uber. And that's the process true, to true, get true. an Uber. That's part yeah, of the stadium, the stadium experience. Walk is a, is a nightmare. Walk. I, I honestly feel like we should downgrade it on the spot, but we're not going to, which leads us to our Miami score. Drum roll, please. 5.78. This is 87th ranked and by far the lowest on our Snapback Saturdays tour so far. You guys saw the packaging of the biggest frauds in college football, and that's kind of what it ended up being. We came into the video trying to convince you guys that you should go to the game. Now, Tim and Casey said they would not take free tickets to this game. It's that bad of an experience. I feel differently. If I was busy, if I had something better to do, am I picking Miami over that? No. 
But if you gave me free tickets, I could find a way to have a good time, even if it's just going through the concourse, eating the food. So let us know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think you would attend a Miami game? And make sure you hit the subscribe video because we have a fun one coming up next. It's going to an Ivy League football game. Yes, Casey and I put our brains together to match the students at Penn, and we saw Penn play a football game, and I want you guys to see what that was like.